right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Conor McGregor and the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. I never thought I would see the day, and what a spectacle it is, as the former two-time heavyweight boxing champion, the king of the gypsies, Tyson Fury, is about to test his game on the ultimate platform. You know the magnitude of the moment's not gonna be too big for him. The Deontay Wilder fight was the crowning jewel for him in terms of rising to the occasion. But what's gonna happen when somebody shoots at his legs? We'll find out here in a moment. Well, as you'd expect, a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms, one of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like Conor yeah, McGregor. Not like the notorious one. We talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting and out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. Standing six feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds, Tyson Fury. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Conor McGregor! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. All right, so here we go with round one. Classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of drafters in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Oh, and there's that patented McGregor left hand. They gotta bronze that left hand and put him in the Hall of Famers. I mean, you know it's coming, but because Connor does such a great job of managing space, he's so quick, he's so active, you don't know when he's gonna throw that punch. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Beautiful strike. Slips. He blocked the punch. Oh, beautiful strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Beautiful hook. Really did a great job of keeping his back hand on his chin, throwing that hook, and putting it exactly where he needed to go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, a 
Huge block there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, big punch land. Just misses with the straight right. And they separate. to the jab now, no good. Final minute of round one. Slips the punch. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Great punch landing with so much power. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it. If you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Second round underway. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, nice jab. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Slips. Nice stick with the right hand. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jabs. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Slips that left hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Conor McGregor gets caught with that punch. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice right hand. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice kick with the right hand. Straight punch lands. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Oh, nice straight there by McGregor. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Slips. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. 
Good stick. All right, that's the end of round number two. High-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our Ready next fight. round. High Ready. number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Liver kick. That was oh. Oh, nice. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Kick, kick lands. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, nice. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Here is lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, nice combination from McGregor. Conor McGregor going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Tags him with a flush left. Flips the shot. Big head kick. Just oh. like that left hand. Wow. Back to the feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. He hurt him. Oh, big left. Thirty seconds now to go in the fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent. Both fighters throwing heat now. They go the 15-minute distance. What a fight. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored the contest for 9-28. We play the winner by unanimous decision, Tyson Fury. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.